In this video, we're going to combine some functions at a variable expression. For example, here we have f of x equals 2x minus 1, g of x, x plus 4. We're going to find f plus g of x squared, which means this time, as we simplify this, f plus g, that means we have f and we add g to it, but instead of just taking f of x, we're going to replace each of the variables with x squared. They're going to be upgraded. No longer are they just going to be x's, now they're going to be x squareds. So we have this f of x squared. We can replace it with the f of x from the expression, but we're also going to upgrade the variable. The x is going to be replaced with x squared. So that f of x part is 2, x is replaced with x squared, minus 1, and then we add to it this g of x squared. Well, g is the expression x plus 4, and we can replace the x with the x squared. So instead of x plus 4, it's now x squared plus 4. And then we can simplify the resulting expression. Notice every substitution went in parentheses as I did that. We see parentheses around f and g because that was a replacement, but also we replaced the variables, so I put parentheses around the x squared part as well. Whenever we make a replacement, it always goes in parentheses. We can distribute the plus through, giving us 2 times x squared is 2x squared minus 1. Well, positive times positive x squared, that's not going to change anything. x squared plus 4, and then we can combine like terms. 2x squared and x squared is 3x squared. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3, and we end up with 3x squared plus 3. We found that by taking f of g and replacing them with their functions, but each variable was also replaced with x squared. We can do this with any operation. We just did it with addition. Let's try it again with multiplication. Here we have f of x is 2x minus 1, g of x is x plus 4, and we're going to find f times g of 3x. In other words, we're going to take f and put 3x inside it, and we're going to multiply it by the g function with 3x inside it. So let's take a look at f, where we're each x is replaced with 3x. So f is the 2x minus 1, but we're going to also replace the x. No longer is it just x, now it's going to be 3x. So f is 2 times the variable, which gets replaced with 3x minus 1, times the g of x function. But in g of x, we're going to replace the x with 3x. So here's the g function, x plus 4, but that x is going to be replaced with 3x. So now we have 3x plus 4. Let's do a little simplifying to clean it up. 2 times 3x is 6x minus 1, being multiplied by 3x plus 4, and we've multiplied things like this out before. It's just a little bit of foil. 6x times 3x is 18x squared. 6x times 4 is 24x. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Combine like terms in the middle to get our final answer of 18x squared plus 21x minus 4 is what we get when we multiply f times g, replacing the variables with 3x. We took the f function and the g function and multiplied those results, and as we did it, each of the variables was replaced with 3x. Again, we can follow this same pattern with adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing simplifying our final result.